what's good for him. January 6th was the straw that broke the camel's back for me. I, I watched in horror as what went down. Um, the guy encouraged a violent mob to storm the Capitol, then sat back and did nothing, and attempted to overturn a free and fair election. Just this week, he called for the unleashing of U.S. military on American citizens who he called the enemy within. We are back with some more political ish. Right now, we got Bob Lang and Christina Lang. Yes, they are supposed to be allegedly former Republicans now turn into Democrats. I say that to say this. We the people need to stop believing that you're supposed to be pro-Democrat or pro-Republican. We're supposed to be pro policies you understand what i'm saying when you just pay attention and focus on policies you don't see gender you don't see race and you don't see the bs you understand what i mean or the bs gets moved out the way we need to stop having blind loyalty this is how they hustle us there is a thing called payola and that's in every single industry i say that to say this again be careful what you do be careful what you let these medias tell you because listen they are thinking for you they are telling you how to think and how to react. You shouldn't vote based on a majority of people voting. You should vote based on, you know, your beliefs and what it is you want to see change. You understand? Do the policies fit you or do they not? You understand? Are the policies for you or are they against you? That's how I feel you should vote. With that being said, sit back and react with your boy. Let's see how this is about to play out. Of course, they're going to tell you why they're no longer Republicans no more and why they enjoy being Democrats. So let's see how this is about to play out. Let's go. Hello, everyone. My name is Bob Lang. And my name is Christina Lang. Christina and I live on our family farm that's been in my family since 1896. Five generations have called that place home. Um, we have been Republicans all our lives. Oh, really? We both voted for Donald Trump. I voted for him twice. It made sense. We are Republicans. You vote for the Republican candidate. I should make a note, Christina was ahead of the learning curve. She only voted for him once. <laughs> I thought he'd fight for people like us, but it's clear Donald Trump doesn't care about helping hardworking people. And he certainly doesn't care about our Commonwealth and our Constitution. He only cares about what's good for him. January 6th was the straw that broke the camel's back for me. I, I watched in horror as what went down. Um, the guy encouraged a violent mob to storm the Capitol, then sat back and did nothing, and attempted to overturn a free and fair election. Just this week, he called for the unleashing of U.S. military on American citizens who he called the enemy within. That is dangerous language. We all know who he's talking about when he's saying the enemies within, right? That has nothing to do with any civilian out here, right? That is all government issues, all right? We have nothing to do with that. Please don't put yourself in those shoes right there. Don't allow this to trick you. They are not gonna go after you. They are not gonna go after me. You understand what I'm saying? We know that a second Trump term would be much worse than his first. And we deserve better. We deserve a leader who will bring people together and really? fight for the middle class, not someone who tries to divide us. <laughs> the irony. We also need someone who actually cares about the American people and who will defend our Constitution. And that's why Bob and I are both voting for Kamala Harris. Why are they making this news? I really don't understand. I just, I'm doing this reaction because this is hilarious to me right here. I mean, showing this, what are we trying to accomplish when we're doing this right here? I mean, to be honest with you, no one should be pro anything when it comes to politics, all right? As a civilian, you are not a Democrat. You can vote Democrat. You're not a Republican. You can vote Republican. However, however, 
People need to stop with this blind loyalty and just because you vote Republican when you started voting, you just vote Republican for the rest of your life or vice versa with Democrats. Listen, it's whoever's on the plate. They're all not going to have the same stance, the same beliefs, the same agreement. Just because one person is a Democrat and another is a Democrat, you've seen them battle it out, right? I mean, they have differences. So with that being said, you should always go with who has the best policies, not who's on the best side or what team or what ethnic or what race or gender, etc. You understand what I'm saying? We need to stop letting them hustle us with these type of tactics, these rhetorics and the semantics. We need to stop allowing all of that to happen and we just need to really fight back. You understand what I mean? We got to fight back when it comes to that. People need to stop allowing the news media, which most are biased. You understand? Their team, whoever's putting money in my pocket. That's how it goes. Obviously, you should know that goes on in every industry. There is a such thing called payola. Pay attention. Never in a million years did either of us think that we'd be standing here supporting a Democrat. <laughs> mm -hmm. But we've had enough. We've had enough. To be honest with you, me growing up, I was taught to always vote Democrat. I never asked why. I just would vote Democrat. Eventually, when I asked why, it started not to make sense. <laughs> You know, they told me, you know what? Uh, look where you come from. Uh, look at your skin color. You should always vote Democrat. Always vote against the rich. In the back of my mind, I'm like, well, I, I, you know, one day I want to become rich. So you're telling me to train myself to start hating myself? I mean, what are we really doing over here? I guess having people with a poverty mind is the easiest to control. Because people who can actually think for themselves critically... They don't fall for stuff like that. And eventually I started to wake up. Not saying I'm woke, but I just started to see things for what it was. When you do critical thinking, you know, people can't trick you with semantics, you know, with the words and rhetoric. You see right through everything. You question everything. You dig deep. You don't just take sound bites from, you know, certain media outlets. Me, I listen to all of Kamala Harris's interviews front to back. Pause, no ditty. I do the same thing with Trump. I don't just run with what I want to hear and say, oh, look, you heard what they said. Trust me, I have I have disagreements with I don't agree with everything both parties say. However, however, I'm just not with the BS. You understand what I'm saying? So I feel like you and me and all of us in general, we the people need to uh, need to stop allowing these companies, these media companies who are getting payola to tell you how to think. You should just go based off of the policies and say, listen. I don't care about these talks talking about, oh, she ate, you heard what she did, or you heard what Trump said. Who cares about any of that? That's all just that's all just confusion right there. We need to know, what can you do for us as a people? Does it make sense? Are you trying to hustle us? Are you saying anything just to win? This is what we got to pay attention to. With that being said, consider hitting that like button if you like what you saw and you like reactions like this, especially if you have any recommendations to any videos, go ahead, feel free, reach out to me on Instagram or X. See you in the next one.